welcome back in to our Disneyland Design Challenge on Dinkum, on the island of Yensid. We gotta get some stuff to craft some fences here. On the previously, we'd started building our main street. We've got the, the museum built. We've got our emporium. We're starting to... We got the southern roundabout pretty much done. Please click that thumbs up and the notification bell and a subscribe. It's free and you won't want to miss any of the upcoming design challenges videos that we have here. So we got to work on this surprise attraction here. Not giving away any spoilers yet on what this is, but it's the first thing when you go start to make the pathway into Adventureland after turning left off Main Street. We've got a hive here that we got from chopping down a gumwood tree. So let's see how much money we can get for this here. 1.0. Ah, oh, that's not much. Thanks. Okay, bye. Hive head. <laughs> Okay, hey, whatever whatever we can get points for, that's that works for us, so. Um, soil mover, all right. So this is our southern roundabout, going up Main Street here. We've got most of the actual strip laid out. We're working on our northern roundabout up here that's in front of the castle. Over there is gonna be Plaza Inn. And Tomorrowland over here is starting to go to Adventureland. So we need to, we're going to need to fill in this river, which is really a bummer. Because then we have to make man-made rivers for the areas that we actually want bodies of water. We couldn't quite find the perfect map, so we're having to make do. Let's take a fly over here. Here is our southern roundabout in front of the train station. There's the Emporium on the left coming up Main Street here. We're going to have this attraction on our left here. Straight ahead will be the northern roundabout with the partner statue kind of hub there. And then north of that will be the castle. So let's go ahead and land here. We're gonna need to do some more paving and some more filling in of this river here. So let's go ahead and get this going here. Uh, there's a rock there I was able to get there. But the rock over there, I don't think we're gonna be able to get. So we gotta figure out how we're gonna get these rocks that are kind of too far down into the water. Cause it's not like we can drain the water to get down to them. So they're kind of right in our path. So I think we're gonna need to get some more tools for that. Let's go ahead and chop these trees down here. We're gonna clear this area here. Yeah, it's not gonna let me. I thought I could make a little platform and still get to it with my jackhammer, but no can do. I'm gonna need to give myself some stuff in inventory. Let's measure this out here. Based on our Excel map that we've shown in the previous videos. Need to eat some more to get my energy up dirt printer and the compactor and the jackhammer really utilize my energy. I have to eat a lot of steaks and stuff to get that. Okay, so that goes there. Let me take a look at my map here. Measure this out. I'm gonna need to build some more. This is how far we'll need to go for the northern roundabout here. So let's see, get rid of these rocks and that rock and that rock, that rock. All right, starting to get sunset now. Let's 
clear all this out here. I need to eat some more food. Clear all this out. Chop down this. Chop down that. All right. Got to build this curb out here. On our way to the castle, um, I think we cut across here. That's going to be our northern curb. I think it lines up here. My energy is like gone, gone. <sighs> and it's not even near midnight yet. So let's just place all our curbs here. And then across here. I don't want my dirt printer to die. So I think we're going to just place some more tiles here for, to, for this game day. God, these roos are pooping everywhere. Okay, my path, the street is three wide and then trolley track and then three wide. So I know I'm gonna need to make that here. This is two and then three and then track and then track. Okay, so that's gonna go across there. And then my curb for my hub is going to be back there. Alright, this is coming together nicely. Let's do a flyover. Fly back to our house. Now it's after midnight, so now my energy is completely gone. So we might just have to sleep and go to the next day. This is the esplanade here. We're going to make bridges. This is where our vineyard is going to be. Um, where Disney California Adventure will be. We're going to need to plow some of this land too. To flatten it and kind of do a mirror image of what we've done on the Disneyland side. So, going across here, we're going to have the Esplanade, the train station, the southern roundabout here, Main Street strip, coming up to the northern roundabout where the partner statue is. There's going to be a hub in the middle there, and then the castle. And then to the left would be Adventureland, to the right would be Tomorrowland. We got some surprises in store for some of the lands too. Because our original concept was just basically stopping at Main Street and then a little bit of Adventureland. Um, and to Redhead's house, which is going to be the Pirates of the Caribbean, and that's where we were going to stop. But now we've got some ideas for kind of expanding a little bit and actually fleshing out some of the lands. So we've got a little bit more work to do with our dirt printer here, filling in that river. This is our game map. Looking pretty good so far. We just got to get some more of these shops in here talking to the people that come, like Clover and uh, the, well, Theodore's already here, but then uh, Irwin, who's got the animals. Franklin will be coming here. He's our science guy. All right, put our tools on the charger, put away our materials into our crates to empty up our pockets, and then let's go to sleep. Got lots of points there. Oh, someone's visiting. Oh, yay, Rain! Okay, this is our... We definitely want her to move in. She's the plant lady. So let's kind of check out what we've got here. We can build some more of our land here. Oh, yee. No, leave me alone. Stupid croco. I oughta. To the moon, <laughs> crocodile. Never smile at a crocodile. 
Oh, he's going to get in a fight with Echidna. So I'm either going to get free steaks or free cro crackle meat. Depending on who wins this fight. And it looks like I'm getting free steaks. As soon as the crackle moves. Go away, sir. 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 No, don't come after me. You go away. He's guarding those stakes. <laughs> if he gets back in the water, I can probably... I'm just going to get my tool and just hunt him. Oh, now he's going to come after me. Alright. Boom. Boom. I'm going to get some crockle meat and some steaks. Boom. There it goes. What? That didn't even give me any crockle meat. What a ripoff. I only got teeth. Good grief. No fair. Alright, so we need to build more of our trolley truck and more of our street. And then we need to start building up curbs to make the hub for the partner statue. But that rock is in the way. So we gotta figure out. We gave ourselves some tools. Bombs away! Fire in the hole! <laughs> oh my god, it made a big old hole in the. Oh gosh. Now we're gonna have to fill in even more land. Okay, I didn't know it was gonna do that. I thought it was just gonna get rid of the rock. But give us some stuff though. What is this? Smooth slate. Oh, some techie stuff. We're gonna need this techie stuff. Alright, so at least we know the bombs work, but they empty out much more land than we anticipated. We do need to get rid of this rock over here as well. So, let's bombs away on this one. Fire in the hole! <laughs> Dang, it gets rid of so much. Oh, a tin! Um, a uh, canister. Let's... How are we going to get that open? We can't jackhammer that. I wonder if our dirt printer will... God, how deep is this? You know, since we have to... Oh, I can dive for this creature too. Freshwater mussel. We can donate that to the museum, I think. I think we can donate sea creatures. Um, but it's good to know that the bombs work that well to empty out a bunch of land, more than just what we need, because we're going to need to man-make some rivers as well in some of our attractions. So let's get rid of this rock as well while we're at it. Boom! Oh, that gave us something too in the water there. I see it glimmering. What is this? Did I get it? Oh, it went in my pocket, I think. No, it's still there. I didn't get it. Okay. I'll have to get it later. Um, okay, so we've got that barrel. That tin barrel. Let's organize our pockets here to kind of free up some space here. Do we need to get our tools? Because I think our dirt printer will be able to get that barrel up here. Okay. Yes, okay, so we got that. Fill in all this stuff here. Gotta fill in extra for the extra deep holes that the bomb made. Get some river grass. All right, and then we can just start plowing through here to make our hub. Our energy's gonna start to get low. We're gonna need to eat something. Eat some limes. Alright, so let's pick up some of this stuff. This mess. These roos are making a big mess. Let's donate some of this stuff to get some room in our pockets. Thank you. Because we don't want to forget and accidentally sell them because. <laughs> Then we gotta catch them again. Let's chop down this. We're gonna need to make some path here. 
because we're going to make our uh, Royal Pavilion, Royal Theater, which is just off to the left from the castle. And it's a six by six, so we're gonna wanna make a platform that's got the path and then the six by six. So I think that will work for that, but we wanna keep a tree there to kind of make it kind of foresty, like medieval. Our white wine tree, we finally had to chop down. Okay, cool. So we can get the bandstand deed anytime we want. We've got that plot all set up. Our street is three by three, and then the trolley track, and then three. I'm losing my count here. Okay, three and three, and then the Yeah, so this is going to go all the way up. Yeah, because it's three. I kept thinking I needed to leave a space for my trolley track, but that's not three. Okay, so that's that, that's that. Our hub is going to be in the middle. Chuk, 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 chuk. This is looking so nice. All right, street, street. One, two, three. And then that's where a curb is going to be after that. Okay, so our hub is going to be there. Three. Perfecto! Alright, so then on here, my energy is about halfway. It's looking pretty good. We just need to fill in some more of our street and fill in that river all in the middle. That's all going to need to be filled in. Going down Main Street proper. Let's take a look at our Excel map one more time. This is a 10%. This is the map that we've laid out for where our shops and everything is going to be. So you see Southern Roundabout, Northern Roundabout, the Main Street Strip. And the buildings are the ones in blue there. So we're progressing nicely. Now we just need to get our curbs and shops placed. And then we can start working on Adventureland proper. And then up to Redhead's house, which is Pirates of the Caribbean. And then we'll also need to make our vineyard. And our California Adventure Main Street across the river there. Alright, we need to harvest some of these bush limes for energy. The cooked bush limes do a little bit better for energy than some of the other stuff. Because the steaks are good, but they give more health than... I mean, they do give energy as well, but... If I don't need any health, I just need something that's just going to help my energy and not do anything to my health. It feels like kind of a waste to have a steak for just the energy. Hey, puppers. Hey, puppers. They're all sleeping. I thought that by whistling it'd wake them all up and they'd all come to me. Still haven't decided if whenever I eventually get a doggo collar whether I'm going to make any one of these dingoes my pet. I know we talked about that on our island of Dharma. We've got one sp specific one that's really close to us all the time. It's like a a black brown tan kind of kind of dog. We haven't put a collar on it, but he's our buddy. I 
kind of don't want to put a collar on them because they can fend for themselves until you put a collar on them and then you have to feed them and they're going to get killed by other animals and stuff like that if you don't have them in their own little, little enclosure. Which is kind of weird because, I mean, they can fend for themselves. How does suddenly putting a collar on them make them totally u <laughs> inept <laughs> at doing so? Like they've forgotten everything that they knew. All right, let's grill some of this stuff here. Hopefully you're enjoying these Disneyland designed challenges. We're getting there little by little. We also have lots of other content on the channel too. We've got Animal Crossing, we've got some other Dinkum Islands that we've been playing. We've also got some Lego games like Lego Star Wars and Pirates. Just all kinds of fun. Definitely check all of the stuff out. Thank you again for joining us on this design and tune in next time we continue our designs on Main Street and let's see if we can get somebody else to move in to create another one of the buildings. Hopefully, but for now we're gonna go to sleep, call it a day, and call it a video. Thanks again. Click that like and subscribe and the notification bell and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.